Are you fed up with your cars just getting in each other's way at your junctions? People doing U-turns, running over pedestrians, and just generally causing complete chaos in the middle of your cities. Well, now we have a mod that can fix all of that, and you don't want to miss it because it's amazing. It can fix traffic, it fixes your traffic lights, and let me tell you, it has dedicated lanes. They're back, baby, in City Skylines 2. Fantastic. So here we are in a particularly busy junction in our city of Kettlebridge. We can see the traffic is heading all down the motorway here, causing all sorts of problems. Now, at the moment, this has a vanilla traffic light set up. And we can see a perfect example here of the problems that can cause is it's letting these two sides go at the same time and they're getting in each other's way. We're now going to have the top and the bottom go at the same time. And if people are trying to cross over... We get these points of conflict, and that is not very good. So this is where the new mods can come in. So how do we use this mod? So if we go into our road services, select traffic lights, and click on the junction. We then get the traffic lights enhancement mod by Sly. So the top section here is only for three-way junctions. We'll have a look at that in a moment. We want to concentrate on this section down here, four-way junction. So the traffic light is set for vanilla at the moment. We've seen how that works and the downsides. Let's change it now to split phasing. So we want to select that option there and save. There we go. And that has now changed how the lights are going to work. So let's speed up the game and we can see which sides are going. So at the moment, south is going. Now east is going. Now north is going, and then very quickly after that, there we go, west is going. So each side gets a turn to go, nobody's getting in each other's way, and generally speaking, things will move smoother. Now let's take a look at the advanced option. Let's click on there. So now we get advanced split phasing, and this adds some turns into it as well. So let's just put that one on and let it run so at the moment north is going let's just give them a second to sort themselves out on the next set of lights so this is going to be actually harder to see because we've only got one lane coming in on each side so what i'm going to do is actually change those to an asymmetric road on both sides coming into the junction there we go and now if we just run that again and give everybody a second to work out what's going on there we go. Did you notice the north is going, but also the left hand from the west is going because we know that that isn't going to get in the way of anything that's going to happen from up here. And it seemed to me it lasted a lot longer as well. I'm probably going to time that, but that's good. Let's see what happens next. So we've still got that left going from the west, and that's probably that these signals were going, but there's no cars going straight on. Now it's going to change. Now, what's interesting here is it didn't let these cars go, which would have been okay. And the reason is, is because that lane, you can probably just about see it there, is for straight on and left. So we'll come back to being able to change that in a moment as well. Let's just let these lights keep on running. So now they're going straight on. And then again, we're going to see when these go, the left is able to go there. Now, it's interesting that this left goes um even though it's sort of got the same setup as that one there maybe it's just that we didn't have any cars let's just run that again yeah it's hard to tell with a junction that hasn't got a whole a whole ton of cars on there but you get the idea how the advance works we'll find some busier junctions in a moment oh there we go we've seen it these are going and these are going at the same time so we've got that protection there which is good i think what's happening is this car wants to go straight on and they're not allowed okay so there's something we can do about that so now let's take a look at the next option protected right turns we're going to save that one and run the traffic lights we'll give that a second to go so we do have a right turn here and you can see nothing's moving for a while i think what was happening was anybody that wants to do a right turn was allowed to go all at the same time which you can't really tell there we go they're going protected right now these ones are going so we'll be able to see that a little bit better with one of the other tools which we'll come to in a moment um, so i'm going to put that back to advanced split phasing i like that one 
Then we have an exclusive pedestrian phase, and this is absolutely brilliant. So we're going to save that. So normally pedestrians will just cross whenever they feel like it. But if we just watch this a moment, we've got some pedestrians down here. We've got a few over here. Not so many on the bridge. Got some here waiting to cross as well. And there we go. They are now allowed to cross on a protected set of lights, which is good. So they're not going to be walking in front of the cars and getting in the way. So I think that is an excellent addition. The, I, I mean, I think that should be standard in my own opinion. But the fact that we've got it in a tool that we can use, that's going to work really well. Excellent. So let's come out of that. Let's click on here. And in the last one, always green left turns. So for instance, uh, let's have a look. Do any of these junctions have a set left turn? They don't. Each of these lanes is doing all sorts of different things. Well, this is where we can show you the lane direction tool. It says experimental. So all of this is experimental at the moment, but I've been loving this. Let us open this tool and take a look. So let's take this side over here. We've got two lanes going into this junction. We've got a dedicated right-hand lane, but the left-hand lane just wants to do everything. That's because the game looks at where these two lanes could go, and two of them could go right because there's two lanes down here. Now, you can manipulate that a little bit using a symmetric road so if we make that instead of two lanes able to go in we make that one lane able to go in then you'll see this one changes so now this one does everything because there's two lanes to go left but there's only one lane to go right but in this instance we don't want to do that let's put this road back like it was before but now using there we go let's open this again the ldt as i call it the lane direction tool we can change this so we want to keep in mind that we're going to have always green left turns so ideally i want this lane here to only do left turns so i'm going to select left only and save that's automatically made this do everything else because there's still two it could go left one straight on and one right so we're going to change that and we don't want that to go left so we want ahead and right only there we go so that's covered all the ways that it could go and we're going to do the same over here. So I'm going to take this one here. I want left only because we know we're going to have protected lefts. Straight on and right. I've already covered. We'll do the same here. Left only. That one's doing everything because of the reasons we said. So we just want a head and right. You'll notice you can turn off U-turns. So it's the default option at the moment. There we go. And we're going to do the same here. We want protected left uh, only or always green on left. Keep in mind. Can't see what this one is. So we're going to make that one ahead and right so that should i've done all of those we also have to save down here i believe as well so let's do that and then go back into it let's watch it this way around again and now what we should see is this option here always green on our left hand turn so let's just run the lights again everyone's gonna have a little think what's going on yeah you see now a lot of these cars are going to be in the wrong lane so we might find, or oh, these are going down here. We might find a little bit of an issue until they sort themselves out. So lefts are going here. Lefts, lefts, lefts are going. We want to see if any of, now they've got the crossing. Now these are going. That left is going as well. Although we noticed the crossing stopped, which is good. So obviously most of these cars want to go straight over and right that are coming in here. Now our left lane. Oh, look, left and left on both sides going at the same time. So obviously these sort of different settings you can do depend on the situation of the junction. It depends on where the cars want to go. All the different things. So I just think those options are absolutely fantastic. Now we can get dedicated lanes. That is really good. And then the other option that we had in here... Let's open the lane direction tool. Instead of always green at left turns, protected right turns. So let's put that one on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly change these up. So any left turns, we're also going to make those ahead. And then these ones are going to be right turn only. I'm going to keep the game running while I do this. Um, just so the cars can sort themselves out. And then we'll save that over there. I like to have it open again so I know what's going on. So now we're looking for protected right turn. So what I'm assuming is going to happen is there's going to be 
a set of lights that lets all the rights go at the same time. Again, all the cars up here are going to sort of have to change lanes and stuff like that. So keep an eye on everybody turning right all at the same time. They're going right. So that was a protected right on their own. Then we've got the split phasing thing going on. Then they're doing a right on their own. So that's what it means. They just go on their own with nobody else. So it is an added step. Now we've got the pedestrians crossing. Now we've got the rights. Okay, excellent. Well, that, that makes sense to me. So you can add that step if you need it. You can see that most of these are going straight on and left as it is from up in that direction. So I <laughs> wonder what that car's doing there. But the traffic's all gone down, even just by fiddling around with that a little bit. Some asymmetric roads and setting up these traffic lights. I just think that is absolutely fantastic. So let's have a look at this slightly larger junction that we've got here. Uh, we've got three lanes coming in from each direction, which is exactly what I would want on a junction like this. And whereas on other mods in the past for City Skylines 1, you might uh, work on this differently, um, we can now go into here and set a dedicated lane for each of these. So I'd probably put advanced split phasing on, exclusive pedestrian phase, uh, always green at left turns i'm going to just save that and then open it again then we're going to go into the lane tool and i'm going to make that one left ahead and right like so for each of these sides There we go we've got the exclusive pedestrian phase as well let us save that and the traffic at the moment is coming from all the way down there all the way up here it's quite a lot of traffic going on let's just keep an eye on this and see how this works now what we're seeing here is there's a lot of problems with cars getting in because they're heading down in this direction um, so let's just have a quick look along here. We've got no traffic lights in this junction. I think we've got some a little bit further down. Ah, oh, they're coming in and out of our parking lot, which is always a fun thing to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop some on here. Put advanced split phasing exclusive. Um, always green left turn. I'd, no, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to do all the dedicated lanes here. We'll save that and then hopefully they'll just move in and out a little bit quicker i love the car shakes it's like they're absolutely desperate to go brilliant so what other features would you like to see added to this mod uh, i'm gonna list a couple see what you think let me know in the comment below uh, i'm sure the mod developer sam is going to be very interested to hear uh, your suggestions as well i'd like to be able to link up uh, different sets of traffic lights so this one and this one i mean the traffic is going down now which is good if i could link up three sets of traffic lights well there isn't one here but this one down here and this one that would be great as well whether that's possible <laughs> if there's a way to turn off the shaking cars that would be fantastic maybe a a quick left click option that if there's enough lanes will automatically set them to dedicated lanes that would be very good as well i think the traffic is nearly gone look traffic's almost gone down here which is good these are all parked cars down the side so once these cars go this is going to be nearly cleaned up uh, let's see there's a no there's not many cars coming from down this direction and this this is just a open junction i don't even think there's stoplights or anything on this one because they're the same size road so sorting this one out here has sorted out the traffic all along in this direction i absolutely love it something else i'd like to see is the ability to change the lanes on roads leading into a roundabout obviously this is the traffic lights enhancement mod not the roundabout enhancement mod but if there is a way to do that to click here oh now that's interesting ah it popped open it's not adding traffic lights is it no ah that's good okay but it's not allowing me to open that tool there so yeah that's not working so if there's a way of getting it working on this i don't know if that's possible i know the built-in roundabouts are a little weird in what they do but that would be great 
So just before I show you where to get this mod from, I'm just going to test to see what would happen if I load my game without this mod. So let's just say the game updates and the mod doesn't work or the mod breaks or you just want to play without mods in a city for a while and you've already tinkered with it a little bit. What's going to happen? Well, as you can see, this is that same junction with the split phasing, with the pedestrian crossing on their own uh, phase setup and with the dedicated lanes. Let me save the game and reload without the mod. Oh, now that is interesting. The game has loaded like this with the lanes not set. Let's play. Let's just... Oh, it's going to start snowing because I haven't turned the weather off. Let's just see whether that actually sticks like that and works. Because that's very interesting if it does that. And I wonder whether the split phasing and the pedestrian only crossing is also going to work. So somehow the game keeps that information wow that is that is very interesting i'm going to pass that on to the dev of this mod yeah there we go okay so i would say that that is not game breaking if you have to stop using that mod in your city good to know Ah, oh, there we go as soon as i click in here with the traffic light it reset it all so i can remove and add a traffic light put stop signs in and now it's all reset to how the game thinks it should be okay well there we go let's also take a look at a three-way junction so if we just speed this up and take a look at how the cars are going so opposite ones are going at the same time getting in each other's way we saw a couple of u-turns there as well you'll get one it seems like the the single end of the three-way junction will get its own turn but still look people are crossing yeah 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 it's all a disaster like it was before so we jump into our tool we grab that we click on there so i'm going to pick it put in advanced split phase and would we need that on here let's try normal split phase oh we're in three-way oh we only get split yes we don't need advance i was correct and then we'll add in exclusive pedestrian phase um i'm not going to put in always green left turns at the moment because i don't have any dedicated lanes and then we're going to run that one and see how that goes so left get a turn right get a turn we've got some u-turns in there as well and in the bottom section get a turn then pedestrians next question mark no pedestrians have to wait yeah they're going to go in between there we go so it's worked its way out now now right now the bottom one then we'll get left then pedestrians that just works so much better but of course we can uh, change that up can't we so if we dive back into here again and then we open the ldt the lane direction tool uh, we of course only need this one to go left this one to go right there we go we need this one to go left and this one to go ahead. We're going to have no U-turns. And we're going to have this one to go ahead and this one to go right. We're also going to have always green left turns. So that would always go. That would always go. Yeah, let's do that one. And then we're going to save that. There we go. Everybody freaks out and starts <laughs> not working out what's going on. Let's speed the thing up and keep an eye on this. So we saw already the left's going automatically left's going automatically on both of these i'm pointing with my finger you can't see that on both of these roads which is great and on a three-way junction like this left never oh left does need to stop when these go doesn't it oh, i'll be interested to see how that works yeah they're stopping oh that's good that's a right isn't it biffa get your lefts and your right sorted but that, that's brilliant i'm loving that that is working really really well so let me show you how to get this mod because it's not actually on the thunderstore uh, i think i might have mentioned that it was maybe earlier in the video but let me show you how to get this one on github so you want to head on over to sly's github uh, here we go with the url on the screen that'll be linked uh, below either in the description or the pinned comment so you can find that a little bit of extra information down here there is also a guide available if you wish to read through that as well you can watch the video again of course and then you can either download the mod from here i'm using the bepin ex version 5 
uh, version of this mod, which most of the mods are working on. Version 6 of Beppin, I believe, is like a pre-release version, so not many mods are working with that. Or you can get the latest version from up here. And I always like to get it from here because I can see the date. I know what version I've got. Um, and also we get a little bit of information of known issues and any changes. And then again, you can get the zip from here. Then once you've got the zip file, you can see what is inside it. But you want to just copy the entire zip file unzipped into this location. And you can see the location here on the top of the screen. And there is the zip file copied in. Then you want to open the thumbnail store mod manager and then you want to import the mod into here so if you go into settings scroll down until you find where it says import local mod click on there and then this window pops up and you want to select your file and in the next window that pops up you want to go to the same location where you copied that zip file click on the zip file and click open and you'll get this window here. If you want to change any of the information in here, you can. I just leave it as it is. And then click Import Local Mod. And then once you've done that, go to My Mods. You'll see the mod is listed here. Click this button to enable it. And then start your game by clicking on Modded up here. And for any other mods that are actually included on the Thunderstore itself, which I believe this mod will be once it's ready uh, to be totally released to the public, although... Uh, Sly is very happy for me to make this video. I've checked with them first of all. You will see the mods listed here. So there's a couple of it, like this one here I haven't got. We can open that up. I can download it and it will automatically then add it to my mods list. So very easy to use. So I have to say, I just think this is going to be an amazing tool for fixing traffic in your cities. And also for me, fixing traffic in your cities. If you have a city that you would like the traffic fixed in, be sure to come to my Discord uh, which is linked in the description as well where you can upload your save and then i will take a look and see whether i fancy fixing your traffic thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this one please leave a like subscribe to my channel and don't forget as well to head on over to the discord for cities 2 modding where you can get this and many other mods lots of help over there fantastic people really helpful if you want to get into modding yourself as well thanks for watching have a great day take care Bye bye